Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Saturday, so it's grocery haul day. I have a big haul for you from two stores. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because we do a grocery haul every Saturday and I do upload five videos every single week. Down in the description box, you will find nutrition coaching. Highly recommend those customized, personalized macros and calories. That is what I follow to lose and maintain my 140 pound weight loss, as well as one-on-one -on -one coaching for questions, accountability. If you need support, I am there for you. That is also on my nutrition coaching website. In the description box, you'll also find links and discounts to my favorite things and come join our Facebook group. It's free, it's supportive, we would love to have you. So let's head into the kitchen for this week's big grocery haul. I just came home from lifting weights at my gym in my community and I'm going to use my new walking pad. Now I've had walking pads in the past but they didn't have elevation and I wanted, wanted something that was going to give me a little bit more of a workout. Having some elevation something I can use in my office and again something that's going to give me just a little bit harder workout. So I've been absolutely loving my new walking pad and I have to share it with you guys. So the Fun Millie two and a half horsepower under desk walking pad is the smallest walking pad out there with incline. It has a 300 pound weight capacity, remote control, and it's super compact. Great for small living spaces, home, gym, office, and love the LED screen. You can walk and run on the walking pad. This pad, even though it's the smallest, provides you with the largest running space and greater safety when you run quickly. It has great shock absorption as well while reducing noise and energy. It has a 5% incline built into it and it is ergonomic and it helps increase the intensity of your workout without increasing your workout time or speed. Really you burn more calories and you just get a better overall workout. The speed goes from 0.6 miles per hour all the way up to four miles per hour. It actually has six silicone shock absorbers and two soft rubber pads to reduce force rebound much better on your joints. Again, this is the world's smallest walking pad with an incline. So it's great for again, small spaces, you can even use it as your desk in your office or home office, and it's really, really good quality and sturdy. It includes the remote control, the LCD display, and the one year warranty on the motor frame and any treadmill parts. It's also extremely quiet, so it's great for apartment or condo living. Super easy to make all adjustments with the included remote control. It's very compact, easy to sort. It even fits under your couch or your bed, or again, can fit in a small closet in a small living space. So I will make sure that the Fun Melly walking pad is linked down below for you. You can pick it up right off of Amazon and I have an amazing discount for you. So I'll put all of that information down in the description box. But this is a really good way to just get in steps at home. And again, love the incline. It really makes the walking pad a step above other ones and the price, super affordable, excellent quality. Love it, both Troy and I absolutely love it. The first part of my haul this week is from Trader Joe's. I went over while Lola was at chemo. So let me show you what I picked up. So I wanted to try this creamer. It's non-dairy oat milk creamer brown sugar. It sounds really good. 25 calories per tablespoon. Sometimes I use my cold brew and just add regular creamer to it if I just want traditional coffee, not protein coffee. So I really wanted to try this out. And then we love these little mini French baguettes. These are like breadsticks kind of. They're about 100 calories a piece. Yeah, 110 calories. And they're just a really good side dish. You just throw them in the oven. I usually brush them with a little butter and garlic salt, like a garlic breadstick. Really good, and they are seasonal. They don't always have them, so I picked those up. I also got some frozen fettuccine Alfredo for Troy. That's one of his favorite side dishes, as well as the chicken fried rice. This is actually really good. It makes just a really easy, fast meal. I got my favorite light shredded cheese because it's my favorite. I was gonna get mozzarella, but I still have quite a bit in my fridge from the last time I was at Trader Joe's, and I did get some string cheese as well. I don't really like string cheese, so I just buy regular full fat string cheese. This was only $3.49. I did get their seasonal candle. It's peony blossom. It smells really good, kind of fruity floral. 
It's so perfect for summer. And then of course I got some flowers. I always buy flowers at Trader Joe's. The mums are $5 for a dozen and they last weeks. I just threw away the ones I bought last time, weeks and weeks ago. So I picked those up and then I was so excited to see the multi-grain crackers back in stock. These are my favorite crackers from Trader Joe's. They haven't had them in a while, so I had to pick those up. Perfect for meat, cheese, and crackers. And then I got these, I love these, these Cinnamon School book cookies. They're basically like animal crackers. They're letter shaped and they're cinnamon flavored. They're really, really good, so I grabbed those. And then also my soft and juicy mango. I count this as zero points, same macros as fresh mango. I just love it. It's just a quick, easy thing to have, and I think I'll take it with me when I go to Spokane here this next week. I also got this Meyer lemon cake mix with lemon icing. I thought I would make this so that we have it for the week. It just sounds really good. You could throw some raspberries in there, blueberries in there. I love lemon anything, so I had to grab that. And then these I've bought in the past, I really like these. These are the five seed almond bars. And basically they're like, they're full of flax, poppy seeds, sunflower seeds, sesame seeds, and pumpkin seeds combined with almonds to create a chewy, hearty, perfect quick breakfast or snack. They are only 100 calories a piece and they are just a really great snack. Nice clean ingredient, lots of fiber, and I haven't had them in a long time. I also bought my favorite bread from Trader Joe's. Love the sprouted brain bread. I wanted the blue wrapper. I don't think it's white. I think it's, or wheat. I think it's something different, but they didn't have that. So I got this. It's made with organic sprouted wheat berries, rye, and flax seeds. It's 80 cal or 90 calories per slice five grams of protein, five grams of fiber. So a really good bread and super, super affordable. I also got the organic marinara. I love the Trader Joe's organic marinara. Not, again, nice clean ingredient, 60 calories per serving. And then I got some more shaky cheese. That's what we call it, grated Parmesan cheese. Cheaper at Trader Joe's than most grocery stores. Picked up some spices that I was low on, so oregano, onion powder and then onion salt is my go-to on eggs. I put it on my eggs every time I have them. So I grabbed another one of those and I was excited to see these. I've never seen these before. So maybe I missed them. Maybe they're new. These are the caramelized onion and bell pepper turkey burgers. They sound really good. Each turkey burger is only 130 calories. 22 grams of protein and only four grams of fat. So if I like these, I will stock up and throw them in my freezer. Preformed, ready to go. They sound really good. I also grabbed some blueberries. I am making a trifle. We have our boot camp girls day on Saturday. We're actually having a pool party and I'm bringing a trifle and a Mexican street corn dip. So I wanted blueberries for that. And then Troy requested a watermelon. He still eats this entire thing in a couple days. So I grabbed him a nice, ripe, juicy watermelon. So that is everything from Trader Joe's. Let's jump into what I picked up from Walmart. And here's the rest of my grocery haul from Walmart. I have a quite a big rest of the haul. So let me show you what I grabbed. Oh, what you don't see is a 24 pack of Diet Coke and a couple of Gatorade, packs of Gatorade for Troy. Those are already out in the garage. So it is my boot camp girls night tonight. We're actually having a pool party at one of the girls, new house, new pool. So I am making a Mexican street corn dip and I'm making a trifle. So a lot of what I picked up is going for girls night tonight. I wanted to pick the Frito scoops up for the Mexican street corn dip. I did get three packs of Mr. Palmer's favorite little balls. He loves these. They're $3.97 a pack at Walmart. He absolutely loves the tiny ones because they fit in his mouth really well. So they're his favorite for playing ball outside. So I grabbed three more packs. I did grocery pickup and they substituted my two gallons of 1% milk with four half gallons. So I don't know how they were out of 1% milk, but they were. So they substituted with four half gallons. Uh, two cans of Southwest corn for the Mexican street corn dip, as well as a can of mild Rotel. Mild cheddar cheese, this is for the dip. And then I needed a pound of ground chicken for a recipe this next week. I also picked up some more bacon because Troy wants another BLT night. Stay tuned after the grocery haul for what's on my menu for dinners and what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. But this bacon is really, really good. This hickory smoked, it's nice thick bacon from the brand Wright, really, really good. I got a big, huge tub of whipped topping. This is for the trifle, as well as the frozen Sara Lee pound cake. I'm going 
to be putting that in the trifle in lieu of angel food cake. Angel food cake gets a little soggy, so I'm hoping that the pound cake will hold up a little bit better. I actually ordered a trifle dish, a beautiful one on Amazon Prime Day, so I'm excited for that to get here. I'll try to remember to share a picture of the trifle on Instagram. I also needed some no sugar added teriyaki sauce for a recipe. I got a big thing of lemon juice because I'm just about out, and then I've never bought fish sauce, but that is also in one of my recipes this week. I needed a restock of just a couple spices, so dried cilantro as well as dried chives. A little baby sour cream for the Mexican street corn dip. You actually, I'll use this entire thing because it calls for a cup. Also for the trifle, I'm going to mix no sugar added cheesecake pudding. Oh no, these were supposed to be cheesecake. Oopsie, and they gave me white chocolate. It'll be fine. I'm going to use them, but I wanted cheesecake. That's actually what I ordered. I'm pretty sure I'll double check, but I think that is what I ordered, but I'll use these. These are the no sugar added white chocolate jello, and that's going to go in with the whipped topping. Another loaf of Troy's favorite bread, and I got this sliced French bread. This is for my breakfast meal prep. Now this, I was so excited about. You guys know how much I love my real good chicken nuggets. I have never seen the Parmesan garlic. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. 21 grams of protein per serving, and it's only 120 calories. I love real good chicken nuggets. They're my all-time favorite, and I cannot wait to try the garlic parm. I think I'll save it, and we'll test it in a what I eat in a day video. That way you guys can get my first impression, but I was beyond excited when I saw that. I also picked up four packs of chicken ramen. I only need the noodles out of this, and this is actually for a recipe that you guys will be seeing later this week. And then I needed cashews, and I ordered a small container of whole cashews cashews and they substituted with this huge one. So we love cashews. Troy loves them. I love them. So we'll definitely eat them, but that ended up being a pretty good substitution in my favor. And then for produce, I picked up some green leaf lettuce. This is for the BLTs, a big, huge pack of strawberries for the trifle. And then I'll be using the blueberries that I got at Trader Joe's. Some angel hair coleslaw. This is for my meal prep, a bell pepper, a fresh bunch of cilantro, the biggest onion on the planet. <laughs> they literally picked me the biggest onion, which is fine. I actually need it for a couple recipes, so I appreciate that it's the biggest onion on the planet. I got a couple of Roma tomatoes for BLTs, a lemon, some fresh basil for a recipe, three huge bundles of green onions. I need a lot of green onions this week, and then a small bag of carrots. Also, I needed quite a few carrots for a recipe. So that is everything that I picked up for the week from both Trader Joe's and Walmart. Let's jump into what's for dinner and what you'll see in meal prep. So here's what's on my menu for the week. I'm making ramen noodle beef teriyaki. You guys will actually see that recipe in Wednesday's What I Eat in a Day. Like I said, we're doing BLTs and I'm still filming my recipe video coming your way. So we'll be eating those recipes this week as well. And then here is what you'll see in Monday's meal prep. So for breakfast, I'm making French toast muffin cups. For lunch, I'm doing Thai chicken salad. I'm so excited. And then I'm going to make lemon bars, the quintessential summer dessert. So stay tuned on Monday for all three recipes. Thank you for joining me for this week's grocery haul. I hope you enjoyed seeing everything I picked up from both Sprouts and Walmart. Some new food finds. We'll test those real good chicken nuggets out together. I cannot wait. So if you enjoyed the grocery haul, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, turn your bell on so you never miss a future video. And don't forget to check out the description box for nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things. And we'd love to have you join our free Facebook group. Thank you for watching. See you next time.